Adventurers, Pwn Star here with Pwn Star Gaming. Guys, how are you today? Have you ever wanted to craft a whole bunch of armor, uh, different types of different armor? Maybe it's for your societies, maybe it's full suits of armor with shields and maces. The whole get up, load it into your shelf, or automatically recycle the ones that are not exceptional quality but you just weren't some script master. Well, I've got news for you guys. Outlands has came out with the crafting queue system. This thing is awesome. That way, with the click of a button and some setup, you too can stock your shelves filled with tons and tons of high quality armor, able to be used whenever you're ready. So guys, sit back, grab yourself a beer, and let's talk about it. Hey, real quick before we jump into this video, just want to remind you guys, make sure if you find anything that's helpful to you to hit that like button. Also subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. That way you don't miss anything when I post a new video every single week over Ultima Online Outlands. Also, I do stream every Wednesday and Saturday for Ultima Online Outlands and Tuesdays and Thursdays for whatever random game the community wants me to play. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump right into this. Um, in order to open up the crafting queue, there's two ways that you can do this. One is right when you click on, let's say your tailoring kit, if you're on a tailor like I am, I'm on pickaxe, which is my blacksmith and my tailor. I can click open crafting queue here or with whatever item it is that I have selected, every single item when you click on this little scroll will have add to queue. So in this case, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we are going to add a leather chest to our, uh, our, our queue. And as you guys can tell, there's already a leather chest in there. Now, obviously I don't wanna have two different leather chests on there that are of the same material. So what I'm gonna do to go ahead and get rid of this is I'm just gonna close this out. Now there's something really cool that you can do as well. And as you guys can tell, it says queue name and this is new crafting queue and so what i'm going to do i'm just going to rename this and i'm going to say leather suits okay so confirm new name and we're going to say that we want to have three leather suits made so what i can do is i can click this little blue uh, diamond right up here and here is where i can click through whether it be uh, until one exceptional is made until I have gained one skill. So this is really, really helpful if you're trying to uh, raise your tailoring or whatever crafting uh, it is. Uh, you can do until all your resources are empty. Um, in this case, we're gonna go ahead and make three of exceptionals. I'm gonna go ahead and click that blue diamond here. And then what we'll do is we will add um, some leather gloves to this. And as you guys can tell, I can just go through here and add until I have a full suit of leather armor uh, that I want. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So we've got our chest, our gloves, our arms, our legs. We're gonna need a gorget, gorget, gorget. Post in the uh, comments below uh, how you pronounce that. So we've got our chest, our gloves, our arms, our legs, and our gorget. Um, I think we have everything we need. And we're just gonna go through here once again, craft until three, uh, exceptional are made, not 13. Um, once we have that done, I'll show you guys a really cool thing as well that you can do is we're gonna go three until three exceptional are made. Next thing we can do is see here, it says never recycle. Well, I don't want that. I want it to recycle the non-exceptional. So I'm gonna go through here and change all these to recycle non-exceptional. The next option is gonna be uh, this box here. And what container do you wish to use as the source container? So where is it gonna pull the leather from? Well, today we're just gonna go ahead and do ourselves, but here you can actually do um, a, a chest with all your materials in it. And then right here is gonna be, where do you want to place this? Now, I don't know if you guys can see it, but right behind me is a shelf so we're gonna go ahead and put it into the shelf. Now, even cooler option is down here, I can set everything to go into that shelf. And that will do the entire queue of, uh, of items that's gonna deposit into the shelf or withdraw resources from shelf. So then I'm just gonna hit begin crafting. 
and it's going to go ahead and start crafting everything. Um, it'll have a kind of a notification. As you guys can see, I am failing um, on the leather chest, but there we go. Now we got one of three, two of three, three of three. Next, it's going to go ahead and go to leather gloves and continue on. So I'm going to fast forward real quick so we can move on to the next part. All right, now for the next part, we're gonna talk about some of the ways you can order the things and also switching out the material type. So as you guys notice, there are some arrows here. Let's say that I wanted the gloves to be the very first thing, then you would just simply click that arrow up. But we want the chest to be first, so there you go. Or maybe we want the chest to be third. It's pretty self-explanatory, right? Also this check mark right here, it will just bypass that item in the queue. So let's say for leather suits, for this instance, I have 143 leather chests and I don't need those. So I'm gonna just simply uncheck those so it'll craft everything else except for the chest, okay? Now you can have up to 20 different items in the queue. So for argument's sake, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put on here some carpentry items we're going to add a club to it. Now I'm going to add to Q and suddenly after the world saves, you will notice page one of two. Okay, so I can click on over and here we are with a club. Now we can do the exact same things we've done with everything else over here, but let's pretend that we don't want a regular uh, wood club and instead we want a shadow wood club. Real simple, you just make sure you click it on over to the correct material, add to Q, and as you guys can tell, it says Shadow Wood Club. Same thing, all that. Now, we're gonna go ahead and create a new Q, and you will see Q two of two, or we can just hit on back to one of two. You can actually have 10 different Qs set up. If you decide you don't want this new Q or one of them, real simple, just delete, it'll ask you to click twice, and boom, it's gone. There you have it, guys. That is the new crafting queue. Uh, it's been really helpful for me, finishing out my societies and uh, making full suits of leather armor, specifically. Um, other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to the Patreons. Be sure and come by the live streams. Uh, become a member there if you want for the cool emojis, all that cool stuff. But uh, we have our beer of the day. Today's Golden Road Brewing Hazy Pup IPA. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, they uh, wags and walks is the uh, every do or every case sold. They give a donation to wags and walks. So this is a low calorie IPA, um, 105 calories uh, for an IPA. Hey, you know them IPAs sit pretty heavy, but we're not worried about that. Either way, it does taste pretty good. A little hazy IPA, so it's a little little bit of lavender to it. So, dog. Oh. Hell yeah, guys. Phone Star Gaming out.